What are the part numbers for the VW Ultra Monitor? Welcome to the HGAS YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to share with you how to configure the part number for the VW Ultra Monitor. The BW Ultra will take up to five sensors. It contains five slots and each slot will take one sensor. Slot one will take either O2 or a dummy sensor. Slot two will take either LEL or a dummy sensor. Slot three will take CO, H2S or a dummy sensor. Slot four will take CO, H2S or a dummy sensor. Slot 5 will take one of the following sensors, PID, IR for LEL, IR for CO2, SO2, NH3, H2, CI2, NO2, HCN, NO, CO, which is H2 resistant or a dummy sensor. Now I'm going to share with you how to configure the part number of this unit in just 7 simple steps. Before we configure the part number, we need to remember that all BW Ultra part numbers start with HU. Step 1. Select the first sensor. If you want O2 sensor, use and select the code X1, and if you don't want it, select the code 00. In this example, I will be selecting X1. Step 2. Select the second sensor. The second step is to choose the combustible sensor. Here we have a few options. The dummy sensor, the combustible sensor with the filter, the combustible sensor without the filter, and the combustible sensor with the carbon filter. This is for the mine. In this example, I'm going to choose the combustible sensor with the filter the code W1. Step three, select the third sensor. The third step will be to choose a sensor for the slot number 3. In this case, we can have a dummy sensor, a hydrogen sulfide sensor, and a carbon monoxide sensor. In this case, I'm going to choose hydrogen sulfide sensor. Step 4. Select the fourth sensor. This step number will be to choose a sensor for the slot number 4. In this, we also have three options, a dummy sensor, a hydrogen sulfide sensor, and a carbon monoxide sensor. In this step, I'm going to choose the code N1 for carbon monoxide. Step 5. Select the fifth sensor. Now it is time to select the sensor for slot number 5. This is where it will get interesting. We have a host of a lot of sensors. You need to pick one depending on your application. In this case, I'm assuming that I need a VOC, so I'm going to choose the code Q1. Step 6. Select the housing. After selecting all five sensors, we will need to go to step 6, where we will select the housing. In this case, we have two types of housing, yellow with the code Y and black with the code B. In this case, I want a BW Ultra with a yellow housing, so I'm going to select Y. Step 7. Select your region. The last step is where we are going to select the region. This is the region where we are going to use the unit. This is very important because when we send you the unit, we also need to send you the plug and the plug that you connect to the wall to charge the unit. Depending on where you are located in the world, the plug might be a little different, so we need you to specify this in order to know which type of plug we need to send you. In this case, I am going to use this unit in North America and my code then will be N. This is how we have the full part number for the BW Ultra monitor. This is how you configure the part number for BW Ultra. Thank you for watching.